decompose fractions. Let's go ahead and decompose three fifths. We're going to go ahead and draw a rectangle and four lines in the middle to make five pieces. And then we're going to shade in three pieces. So go ahead and shade in three pieces. Now we're going to go ahead and fill in the unit fractions. So go ahead and write one fifth in each of the rectangle pieces. Now the fraction is three fifths. So we're going to go ahead and decompose it, which means breaking down. So three fifths would equal one fifth plus one-fifth, plus one-fifth. Let's try another example. Five-sixths. Go ahead and draw your six squares and shade in five pieces. Label the unit fraction one-sixth in each square. And to decompose it, it is one-sixth plus one-sixth plus one-sixth, plus one-sixth, plus one-sixth. In this example, we will compose fractions. So our example is going to be one-sixth plus one-sixth plus one-sixth. Compose means to put together. Let's go ahead and draw the unit fraction 1 sixth by itself. And you could also shade in your unit fraction. So we're going to go ahead and add 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3. And if your denominator is the same, it still stays as 6. Let's go ahead and draw it out. So we're going to draw a rectangle with 6 squares. And we will be shading in 3 squares. Now let's go ahead and solve a word problem. Mrs. Munir decided to buy pizza and share with her friends. The model shows the number of slices Mrs. Munir and her friends ate. What expression shows the number of slices eaten? Now we're going to go ahead and shade in the three slices. Next, you want to label each unit fraction as one-sixth. So our answer is 1 sixth plus 1 sixth plus 1 sixth equals 3 sixth. Let's try another example. A pie was cut into four equal pieces. If Maddie ate one fourth of the pie and Amanda ate two fourths, what fraction of the pie is left? So the first thing you're going to do is create your four pieces. And we're going to shade in one fourth. And then two fourths. Next, you want to label the unit fractions. And then write down who ate what. So Maddie ate one fourth. Amanda ate two fourths. And we can clearly see that there is one fourth left. So that is our answer. One fourth.